All right, so my name's Greg. I'm on the SRE team for Stack Overflow. You might know that site. Uh, when it goes down, it's our problem. So I'm going to show you a few of the tools we use. We use a lot of tools, but uh, hopefully you'll find something interesting. If you find something you really want to talk about, let's go to a monitoring session at the open sessions. Um, we run on all physical hardware, so this is a cool picture of us refreshing a data center live. If you like hardware, check out those blogs. Uh, we also work very closely with the developers. We have people embedded on those teams, on our teams too. It's about 156 unique communities, 10 top-level domains, 350 SQL Server databases, all up about 27th worldwide for unique visits. So it's actually a pretty decent site nowadays. Um, a lot more than just jQuery answers. More numbers, 209 million raw requests on a single day. That's called Tuesday for us. Uh, three terabytes total sent. This is not from a CDN. This is just raw data from our web servers. 450-ish hours of processing in ASP.NET in one day. And compare that to two, about two years ago, we've doubled our traffic, but we spent less time in ASP.NET. We got great tools to make sure we're running as fast and as quick as we can. So I'll show you a couple of those. Um, Twitter is one of our best ways of knowing when we're having a problem. This is our co-founder letting us know we need to fix an error for him. Um, he's, you may have seen these pages. This basically means our site had an internal issues. If you don't see this, it's even worse because that means you can't even get to us. So much fun to watch these when it happens. Um, Stack Overflow is down. Uh, they actually alert us 20 to 30 seconds before any of our alerts ever do. We just watch it and just <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Sucks, but I mean, it's cool. <laughs> So uh, the tools I'll talk about, OpServer, Boson, and Grafana. You've heard about Grafana. You'll see some more. We have a lot more. Um, these are all things I would recommend, uh, but definitely not enough time today to talk about them. So I'll focus on the first few. And there's links everywhere in here. They're posted on Twitter. This is OpServer. We call it our single pane of glass dashboard. It's open source. We released it. This is all of our servers and monitoring system, or uh, uh, networking gear, SQL clusters automates failovers. I can override on-call on that thing with one click. It's awesome. Um, Redis, this is like everything I'd ever need to know about Redis. Instead of deep down in some system, I can access this on my phone. It's awesome. You can see these are all tweets, too, just to and from coworkers, usually. <laughs> um, we use Redis a lot, 160 billion-ish requests in a 30-day period, 2% CPU. This thing is amazing. Caches all of our SQL hits, uh, runs PubSub for all the questions. If you see things update, it's really cool. Highly recommend it. Oh. Same thing, op server showing SQL server always on availability groups. This is why we built this. It lied to us once, and we said we will never trust your dashboard again. We're building our own. Um, red stuff turns green, again, on my phone. Amazing. Uh, next up is Boson. We're crazy enough to write our own monitoring system. Um, don't recommend it, but if you want, try ours. It's open source. We focus on trying to make sure we have as much information in the alert when it's generated, because it might be 3 AM, and you might not have all the brain cells you wish you had. This is one on the left, says Crushinator is using a lot of CPU. I happen to know that's our ad server's simulator, so I'm not too worried, but it's kind of cool that I can put everything in there. Chat opsy stuff. I can create annotations from chat when we do events. It's kind of cool. Same thing, Boson graph pages. Somebody, one of our devs, used this to find a garbage collection issue in their app, and that's when they fixed it. Really cool. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, here's Grafana. The only thing I'm going to say, if you're not already using it, go use it. It's an amazing piece of software. I've never found a dashboard that's better. It pulls from a lot of sources, and our dev teams use this now. They just spin up their own dashboards all the time. Um, it's, it's a great piece of software. SQL Server, one bad query making it into production, boom. <laughs> so we can quickly find it, address it, get devs to look at it if they need to. Um, and we have dozens of these now. So we look in Op Server, find the component, go to dashboard. This is up on my screen every day. It's our traffic overview. Uh, that's Googlebot crawling all permutations of a redirected URL, pegging top 15 IPs on our servers, quickly identified, fixed. Like just. It's pattern matching, so easy. The last thing I'll say is mini profiler. This shows us every API call, Redis call, SQL call, third party, breaks it all down. This hits every time we hit it. Pull it out, see what the numbers are. Uh, and then client timings, those are really cool. If you haven't used them before, go check them out. And that's it. Those are a few of my favorite DevOps things. Hope you like it. If you want to hear more, let's go talk. Um, and we have a job board. <laughs>